So what we're doing here is we're putting Equilox on this foot, which is a, an acrylic uh, substance that binds with the hoof wall and basically becomes one with the hoof. If it's put on correctly, it'll stay on for up to 45 days. And what this does on this age foal will help manage the placement of the foot and make his foot go out. We'll put, we're putting Equilox on the outside of the foot. What we need to do is make sure that the foot is clean, the bottom of the foot is clean, and that the uh, hoof wall is, is uh, sandpapered down to make a lot of fine micro grooves that the Equilox will bind to. At the same time that we're doing this, we're, we're going to do a periosteal elevation on the inside of this fetlock. The periosteal elevation surgery is uh, of some benefit, not nearly as much benefit as the uh, screw in the ankle would be, but because this foal needs to ship out of state, the client has elected to only do a periosteal elevation and not put a transficeal screw in the leg. So now the stuff's being mixed, it'll be applied to the foot. So now we just form this stuff so that it mimics the contour of the bottom of the foot. We can't have any high spots or else that will cause lameness. It has to conform to the bottom of the sole as well so that it looks just like an extension of the foot. You can see there that it's, it's symmetrical to the foot, it looks kind of like the foot. I don't put a big blob of that stuff underneath it because that causes them uh, some soreness occasionally. So it's fairly easy to do, fairly straightforward. Now that'll heat up and we'll cool it off, and that's that. And then we'll do the we'll do the periosteal elevation here in a second. What we do is we incise the skin and the periosteum at the same time. And the first incision here's the the growth plate is right here. I'm going to go just above the growth plate, stick my scalpel in, go underneath the skin pull down a little bit just to above the growth plate then tunnel underneath it cut the periosteum again come back cut the periosteum one more time and then I'm gonna now I'm gonna lift the periosteum to scalpel out of the way so I don't cut myself and there I'm lifting the periosteum so now the periosteum has been lifted on both sides inverted T incision Give me the last kind. No need to. And get a scissor. And that's it. So now we'll flip them over and do the same thing on the other side.